Spectrum Technologies, your field measurement resource, presents how to assemble a watchdog weather station. Getting started. Open the box and remove the manual. Remove the parts box and lift out the weather station. Remove the plastic wrapping. The parts box contains the wind vane, the wind cups, four AA batteries, a ground screw, and the mounting hardware. The mounting hardware provided is to attach the station to a 4 inch by 4 inch treated wooden post or to a mast or pole up to 1 and a quarter inches in diameter. Positioning the anemometer. Apart from the anemometer, the weather station comes fully assembled. The top screw in the anemometer arm is already in place. Undo the bottom screw. Slide the arm up and make sure that it's pointing away from the station. Line up the clamp with the hole. Use the included star washer. And replace the screw. Make sure both screws are on tight. When you're finished, insert the ground screw into the bottom clamp. Installing the anemometer. Place the wind vane on the top of the arm and press it down all the way. It should turn freely. Push the wind cups into the bottom, pressing all the way up. When let go, the wind cups should drop slightly. The cups should turn freely. Using the included Allen wrench, tighten the set screw on the wind vane and wind cups. When finished, you can tape the Allen wrench to the inside door of the weather station for easy access when doing adjustments. Installing the batteries. The stations are powered by the included four AA batteries, which should provide continuous power for up to one year. The battery compartment is accessed by removing the thumb screws on the upper cover of the station. Insert the four batteries. Whenever the batteries are replaced, the time and date must be reset immediately so the data is time stamped correctly. The station will beep and the screen will flash to prompt you to set the date and time. Then put the battery cover back on. Prepare the mounting brackets. Slide the U-bolt into the mounting bracket. Make sure the rounded side of the bracket faces towards the rounded side of the U-bolt. Insert the bracket. Then put on the washers and nuts. Do this for both sets of mounting brackets. Be sure to leave them loose. Mast pole insulation. Align the weather station and the pole, then slide the station down as far as it goes. 
Tighten the four nuts and make sure the station is secure. Positioning the weather station. Once your weather station is at the desired location, make sure the station is on level ground. Most importantly, make sure the front of the weather station is always facing south. This eliminates any shadows from the anemometer to affect the light sensor. Using the display, you will also have to calibrate the wind direction to establish accurate readings. You can make fine adjustments using the thumb screws on the leveler on the solar pyranometer sensor. For more information about the Watchdog Weather Stations or Spectrum Technologies, please visit us online at www.specmeters.com. Thank you.